Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, good Saturday night, Ohio Valley. How's everyone's weekend? A little bit rainy out there, but for our day today, overall not so bad. We had some sunshine peeking in there, mixing with the clouds and that light rain, but overall we didn't see a whole lot of rainfall. Now moving into our night tonight, I do expect this band of showers. It was thunderstorms previously about an hour ago, but all those thunderstorms have collapsed. And now we're just dealing with some light to moderate rain, but we could see things pick up again as we head into the early hours of your Sunday. But what's in store for your Sunday? We'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, for rain totals, though, Friday night, if you think back to those downpours that we just experienced, around an inch and uh, towards Zanesville, Youngstown, right around a half an inch, anywhere between a half an inch to utmost of an inch. And then towards uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, they actually saw right around an inch and a half, closer to two inches, definitely a lot of rainfall. And the reason I'm speaking of this rainfall, well, we definitely need to monitor those creeks and streams moving forward with multiple days of precipitation ahead for this work week. Now for our day today, we maxed out right around 60 degrees. We stayed shy of that average and uh, continue to sit below that average for much of this work week, not to mention no record setting heat or chill, but tomorrow expect your temperatures right around the lower 50s to kickstart that morning. A seasonable night tonight, but temperatures don't really vary much. Here's a look at your temperatures and your dew points. We stay completely saturated as we head through this work week. That's exactly what we're going to see. High humidity and those winds continue to increase as we get closer to your Monday. Those low pressure systems off to the north and towards the south will continue to converge. And that's what's going to increase those chances of precipitation. But overall for our day tomorrow, we'll max out right around 60 degrees. We start out right with those mostly cloudy skies. But by the time we finish out their day tomorrow, actually going to filter in some sunshine and some dry air behind that. So a good chance to get out there and watch a beautiful sunset along those clouds. Here's everything being timed out for you on Predictor. Right around Sunday, 2 a.m., we start to see those thunderstorms that are off towards the west that have just now collapsed roll through. Just a moderate uh, rain shower for us. But as we wake up for your Sunday, here comes some more rain. We'll deal with it for the morning, although I'm not noticing anything uh, indicating that we're going to lean towards those thunderstorm development that we were talking about earlier. So moving forward, just some moderate rain showers. As we head towards lunch, though, things start to wrap up and we start to filter in that dry air that we just talked about. That gives us a chance to see some sunshine, especially into southeastern Ohio and moving in towards the panhandle right around sunset. Now we do see uh, sun sitting along the coast there, or sorry, along those mountain ranges until about 8 o'clock. So a good chance to see some sunshine anywhere between 5 and 8 p.m. for your night and heading into your Monday. Just a sneak peek for you to kickstart this work week. You're definitely going to need your umbrella. Here comes the rain, and we'll continue that song and dance for much of this work week. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, but here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We kickstart our May with plenty of rounds of precipitation, windy conditions for your Monday, but then temperatures don't really reflect of spring until we head into your Thursday and Friday. Colin?